So far I showed you how to use um, Perl, how to open uh, a file, this open function and um, we were using uh, three parameters and as you noticed uh, the first parameter was a scalar variable. This is uh, what we call the new way, the three parameter open. That is funny to call it new way because it's more than 11 years old now. But there is another way uh, which I call right now the old way. And unfortunately, it's still uh, very much in use, uh, although it has a couple of issues and it's uh, very much recommended to use the new way every place uh, you use new code and even to change old code to, to start using the new f new ways. So the, the, way, the reason I'm showing it is because I'm sure that you'll encounter such code and it's important to understand what is that and how does it work and what the, pro what the problems are. So the, re the old way before 5.6, Pro 5.6 came out was like this. You had the file name, let's say in a variable, and then you opened for writing this way. The first, the, you open had two parameters, and the first one was uh, a set of capital letters. It was a bare word actually, if you remember, if you know what that means. So it's a bare word. It's a it's a file handle. And that's where the file handle goes. And the second parameter was uh, uh, the file name, and the, the first character of that file name, uh, of that string actually, was uh, the way it, it should be opened. So the greater than sign here meant that opening the file for writing. So this is similar to what you saw earlier, but the except of scalar variable here, you have a file handler that is just capital letters, and the second and the third parameter are in one. And then or die is just the regular thing, you could uh, give an error message here, uh, that's not interesting. Then printing the file to the file was print, giving the file handler again no comma here, and some data, and then closing the file handler. So that's sort of okay. How was how we how were we opening the file? We said oh, open fh and then the name of the file. We didn't even put or we don't have to put the less than sign at the beginning because that's the default. And then we read it from the file handler with the uh, operator that we saw earlier. So what's the problem here? Well, there are a couple of problems. First of all. What happens if the user who supplies this file name happens to add a greater than sign at the beginning? And we are opening it for reading, right? Well, no. We thought that we were going to open it for reading, but because now the user added a, a larger than sign, a bigger than sign here at the beginning, so we are opening that file by mistake for writing. So, if especially especially if this input comes from the external world, something that uh, we go don't control, uh, then, uh, for example, through a website, then this is a can be a fairly big security issue. So that's one of the issues. Uh, actually, the same would happen even with this because even here, is instead of uh, opening for writing, if I add another lar larger than sign then it would be open for appending and it still has some issues or can have some issues so it it's better to avoid the other issue is this uh, capital fh or file handler or whatever I mean, you could use any string but in fact most people use like really three or four of them like xyz or input or well i use also kukuriku but that's just my private thing um so and the problem is that this is global this thing, whatever it is, is global. Global not only for your script, but for the whole thing that it's in memory currently. So if you load a module, that module and this share the same memory space, and this file handler is global for both of them. So if someone has used uh, the, this FH in that module, then you two file handlers uh, will corrupt each other basically one of them will close the other so it's not really corrupting in, 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 a, in a corruption way but they get confused so in any way that's not n not really good to use this for both of these reasons uh, typing the three parameter is much cleaner and actually there is a, a module called Perl Critic that will allow you to check whether your code is using this which is Syntactically correct, but it's better not to use this old way.